Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have interesting, interesting news. And you know, this is actually one of those news that I get to give and I'm super excited about it. And this news is going towards Blender and it is coming from the guys at Ubisoft. So just in case, you know Ubisoft is a game company that creates incredible games and incredible animation features. And today we have news coming from them saying that they are going to be investing in Blender. And they're just not investing in Blender just like Epic Games did. And in case you don't know, we covered the news about Epic Games not so long ago. But they will be adopting Blender as one of the in-house tools that they will be making use of. So there is a department in Ubisoft that is actually channeled to creating some sort of content. So these guys have actually gone through and mapped out this particular section. And what they want to do is, you know, test out the waters with a couple of animation shots that will be rolling out probably in 2020. So these animation shots would be the pioneering animation shots, which they're going to make use of. And at the end of the day, you know, they can now dive in head deep and start using Blender as their, you know, their DCC software of choice. Directly here on the blog, you can see that the head of production at the Ubisoft Animation Studio, Pirot Jacket, has gone on to say that, that they've gone ahead to create an incubator department, which would help bring some projects to life by giving creative and technological supports to directors and artists. For now, he is saying that it's going to be a department with very agile mindset. And you know, the, the, the mission right now is to go ahead and explore new visual styles and creation tools that would definitely, definitely uh, in turn help push the boundaries of animation. Now, there is also a couple of things that they've gone on to say, and one of them is that within the time that they would be making use of this, they would also love to play with the, you know, the, the features that are coming with Blender 2.8. And he also made mention of the fact that Blender has been one of those tools that have gone ahead to you know expand on what it is giving out to the public right now in terms of development and we can see that within the past few years we've seen uh, a huge growth when it gets to do with blender and also the community pirate jacket also went on to say that in as much as they do have you know their own in-house tool directly here at uh, ubisoft that they would also love to you know explore and expand on the workflow that Blender has. Now, this is not saying that they are totally adopting this, but right now what they're trying to see is if it fits into their workflow the way that they've actually said that it will be, okay? So if it fits into their workflow, there may be no need for them to go ahead and create or keep using the custom in-house tools. Now, what this is going to cost them to do is at the end of the day, they're going to build a robust system around Blender, which is actually a good thing owing to the fact that Blender is open source. So it simply means that a whole lot of developments would definitely, definitely come to Blender. And uh, this is not just the only thing that they're talking about. These guys are also pledging to you know be gold members when it gets to do with donating to blender and you know not long ago we saw that of epic and now we're seeing this one coming from the guys at ubisoft this from my own standpoint from what i see right now is going to expand the way blender is going to look like so for those guys saying that blender is not industry standard i mean the amount of tools that will be coming to blender the amount of you know, um, services coming to Blender, the amount of support going to be coming to Blender will definitely, definitely cut a whole lot of things out of shape. In as much as Blender is open source and all that, we can see that there is a drastic move and there's a drastic acceptance of Blender in the so-called industry. So if Ubisoft gets to adopt this and let's say this makes its way and let's say Blender makes its way into uh, huge production houses, then what are we talking about? Then it simply means that Blender has finally won the game of industry standard or not. Uh, links to all this is going to be in the description and you can tell that from what we have here that we definitely have uh, Ubisoft on track, we have Epic Games on track, we also have some other you know huge clients, link is going to be in the description in case you want to check out the donators to Blender and you know Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. 
If you love what you've seen, if you're a huge supporter of Blender just like I am, I would like to know what you think about this new development in the comment section. And you should also see that, you know, Tangent Lab, Google and uh, Polygon is also huge supporters. The same way we've seen Steam, link to the donate page is still going to be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.